friends in this session we studied about the probability distributions when the data are collected in actual or direct form and frequency distributions are considered on the basis of this observed data then the frequency distributions are called observed frequency distribution as distinguished from this uh, observed frequency distribution when the frequencies are obtained with certain assumptions using mathematical methods they are called theoretical frequencies or expected frequencies or estimated frequencies the frequency distribution constructed on the basis of expected frequencies is called theoretical frequency distribution here i would like to explain you various mathematical methods to find out the theoretical frequency distribution some of them are binomial distribution multinomial distribution negative binomial distribution poisson distribution hypergeometric distribution and finally normal distribution here in this session i would like to explain you about the binomial distribution the binomial distribution the binomial distribution also known as the bernoulli distribution is associated with the name of swiss mathematician james bernoulli also known as jax or jacob uh, he born in 1654 and he expired in 1705 but it was published in 1713 after 8 years of his death binomial distribution is a discrete theoretical distribution and uh, expressing the probability of one set of dichotomous alternatives success or failure so first i would like to explain you the assumptions for binomial distribution so you see here the assumptions of binomial distribution the bernoulli trials are independent the it should be the independent trial and the number n the number of trial should be fixed the trial are repeated under identical conditions there are two mutually exclusive possible outcomes of each trial which are referred to as success or failure and finally we see in a single trial probability of success is p and the probability of failure is q where q plus p is equal to 1 the probability of success and therefore of for failure remains same for each trial so first uh, uh, i would like to explain how we get this theorem i explained this theorem in my binomial uh, theorem session uh, how we get this theorem how we find the derivative of this theorem here i just written down the formula for this theorem the binomial theorem is applied here as follows the q is the uh, probability of failure and p is the probability of success we have to write first the probability of failure then the probability of success q plus p power n n is the number of events here so it is the summation of r from 0 to n n combination r q power n minus r p power r so this is the if we expand this we get here n combination 0 r starts with 0 q power n because the q is n minus 0 and p power 0 so p power is r so plus n combination 1 q power n minus 1 p power 1 plus n combination 2 q power n minus 2 p power 2 plus n combination 3 q power n minus 3 p power 3 plus and so on up to n you see here and n combination and q power 0 p power n now i would like to explain this with an example now uh, let us take this example one that if there are three coins tossed simultaneously 200 times find the probability and frequency distributions of getting hit so here you see uh, here we know n is 3 here the three coins are here we have uh, and 200 the number of tries so capital n we have 200 and the probability of getting hit the probability of getting hit in one event is 1 over 2 because the 50% of chances of head and tail and the probability of failure is also 1 by 2 so now we find out through this table you look at in this table what we are getting here the number of success is denoted by small r and the probability distribution we do is we use this formula n combination r q power n minus r p power r and for frequency distribution we get the probability distribution multiplied by total number of trials so now we see here there are three coins so we may get to no head if there is no head we could have no head we could have one head we could have two head we could have 
three minutes. So now we find out this. Uh, if you have no hat, then three combination zero q power three. Three minus zero is three, and p power zero is equal to one. So now I put these values. Three combination zero is one, and q we know the value of q is one by two here. As I mentioned here, to get here, one over eight. Now, if you get one head, so three combination zero. Uh, instead of three combination zero, we have to put three combination one. Q power two and P power one. So we get here three combination one is three, and here one by two power two and one by two power. Uh, it is the equally likely event so we put right here 3 over 8 so 2 power 2 and 2 power 1 2 power 3 which is equal to 8 now if we have 2 hat then 3 combination 2 q power 1 and p power 2 so we get here 3 combination 2 the value of this 3 combination 2 is 3 again and q is 1 by 2 and p is 1 by 2 power 2 which is also 3 over 8 Finally, we see if we get all three heads, then three combination three, p power three. So we get here three combination three is one, and p is one over two, to the power three, which is one by eight. So now we have got the probability distribution here first. So one by eight, three by eight, three by eight, one by eight. If we have no head, then the probability of getting no head is one over eight. The probability of getting one head is three over eight probability of getting two head is also 3 over 8 and the probability of getting all three heads is also 1 by 8. Now we have to find out the frequency distribution. It would be the probability distribution into n. n we know that uh, 200. So probability distribution we have 1 by 8 and n is 200. So if we divide this 8 1 times and here we get 25. So 25 times you will get no head. These are expected frequency distribution. If 3 by 8 into 200, so we get here 75. Here also 3 by 8 into 200 is equal to 75. Here you see 1 by 8 into 200 is equal to 25. Now if you make the total of these all, 25, 75, 75, 25, we get 200, the total number of trials here. But here, we, here, if we get the total, we get always 1. The total of this whole property uh, probability distribution should be 1. And the, this frequency distribution should be capital N. So this is our, in this way, we could distribute the frequencies, expected frequencies, or we could find out the uh, which uh, theoretical frequency distribution through this method. Thank you.